A new knight is striding into battle. Spiky bits. The long-awaited Perceptor class combo kit with Canis Rex with that pilot, Sir Hector, and also the fully enclosed or fully detailed, I guess it is enclosed too, cockpit bits right there is finally here. Now this is $157 from Games Workshop, the same price as the uh, Night Warden. I think it's the Night Warden. Yeah, the Night Warden kit. So it's going to come with all of the same sprues here. It just comes with a little extra halvesy sprue to make this version of it with uh, the Laz Impulsor and, of course, the cockpit, the banner, and all the detail or the little pilot. There's actually a pilot figure as well as the one on foot right here for Sir Hector as well. So let's jump in to the box and see what's inside. And there it is. We've got a new instruction booklet. We've got a new night. There's all, I don't, I don't, I'm a glass, I'm a glass case of emotion. There's so many cool things in here. So this is a pretty robust instruction booklet right there, depending on what you want to build. And of course you can build all the knights. Technically, I guess that is six plus the one special character. So seven, it's, I don't know, that's a chaos number. <laughs> We're not gonna mention that. So brand new instruction booklet here. Now what I really wanted to take a look at was, and I'm just gonna flip ahead to it while I'm uh, buying time with my chit chat here, is the uh, the new construction here. So we've seen all of this, we've seen this sprue, nothing new about this sprue. This came out with the Errant way back in the day. This is the new upgrade sprue for Canis Rex and the Preceptor. So it's a halvesy, right? But it has all the parts you're going to need to build uh, the enclosed cockpit right here, it looks like. And you've got the little scoop, little Indy card or A10 Warthog armored scoop. You've got the imploder and the heraldry for Canis Rex as well. And all the pilot, uh, the two different bodies and stuff, one sitting down, one walking with this little power pack right there and the power pack for the imploder which is probably going to go on the side with the multi melta haven't looked at it yet and then the rest of their sprues that's just your normal this is all your normal stuff this is the highly coveted and soft sought, sought after upgrade sprue to make the normal knight errant into any of the wardens so everything in here and then here's the other half to actually build the knight now something else that's worth mentioning before we jump into our Unbox the the build part of our unbox is this decal sheet is actually different So you've got the chain breaker motif right here and some Canis Rex stuff and uh, some different things up here in the corner And here is the existing one that comes in everything. So they just kind of switched some stuff around a little bit right there and Kind of threw in took out this and threw in the Canis Rex stuff right there So a little bit different of a decal which is kind of cool and of course you're gonna get the base for uh sir hector as well so we actually before we do that let's give you a brief overview because i'm actually excited about this i like how they did it so we've got the instructions right here so it looks like it's just going to slot in yep the, the power pack is going to go right over top of where the multi melta um little canisters or whatever you want to call them go normally everything else looks to slot in just like normal like it was it's the same exact piece right there for either the multi melta or the is that the no that's just the multi multi isn't the bad yeah the battle cannon is different because it has uh, the little stubber underneath it and the hand is fine let's find the cockpit detail here somewhere i'm sure there is some cockpit detail and and we're flipping and we're flipping you should you want to Thought I would have had this. Oh, there it is. You would have thought I would have had this bookmarked, right? So now this is what I had looked at. It. I just didn't have a bookmark. So you're gonna put the chair in the back right there, the throne mechanicum, whatever they call it, I believe. And Sir Hector himself goes together, pretty much multi-part. So he's gonna be pretty well detailed, I would imagine. Here in a sec, we'll take a closer look at the sprue. And you've got your standard build out. Now a lot of people keep this piece off to paint it up. Fortunately, we were building up all of our knights, so we exactly did the same thing. We have this piece off here, and what I like about this design is that it slots up into this piece right here. So if 
you're like a lot of people hey you just got some knights back in june you don't have them all built yet well you want to pick this up and you want the fully enclosed cockpit well hey all you need is this extra piece right here and you can actually slot it in regardless of if you built the walls right here on the left and right because that would it doesn't look like it even touches it might slot down into them but it looks like it attaches to the top carapace here and then it goes down and it's got these little uh extenders little pistons here for the cockpit hatch and it keeps it up or you can just conversely just you know glue the cockpit down and have it completely down but then you can't tell that it's open or you know put some sort of bendy piece in there and then the multi-laser just goes on like normal uh with the little wishbone uh clamp that you would normally see here now fortunately uh looks like we magnetized ours but we also glued that in right there so we're not so we might have fumbled on that one but i'm okay with that we could pop off the uh the little piece right here to get the heraldry pad if we really wanted to but i'm more concerned with how easy this is to build and actually slot in and uh the lines imploder we want to see how that one goes together too because we've got a couple of different options right here so we're gonna see how easy it is to go from this to this right here Ooh, so not actually not too much work here a couple of lessons learned real quick the cockpit goes together very well uh, back piece side pieces I actually took the side piece out right here these slot in pretty cool there's a little um what is it there's a little slot mechanism right there that goes into this peg here and the reason I removed it is because if you build uh, the pilot separately here this guy uh, looks great but he's a little beefy he this this model actually goes together very well it's got really nice uh, detail on all the plating and everything right here uh, and the hoses go up to these little I don't know plug-in recesses up here in the shoulder kind of areas and the helm looks great and it kind of locks in back here uh, next to this socket right here on the throne but the problem is if you glue down both of these sides he won't fit in so in order to get him into here and like i said he just kind of slowly eventually you can slot it Boop, there it is so then you can slot it into there and hopefully if you didn't glue this in then you can just pop it out but don't glue them both in and then paint your guys separate and expect it to work because it's not going to so you're gonna have to remove this but you're probably gonna do it metal anyways so it's probably okay there so then we're gonna insert this into uh, the cockpit or the uh, the carapace here in a second here is uh, the pilot on foot you can see this is also very well detailed the hoses are a separate piece that come up from the leg I think they did a wonderful job with this uh, very little trim to or very little flash to trim and just a couple of little chunks just to uh, shave off real quick but nothing uh big other than that great detail face right there all of the uh, armor plating and everything looks great and then of course he's holding the head with the uh the sockets there on the back and a little archaeotech pistol that he's got ready and this is how big he compares to uh a space marine on a 32 mil base so you can see he's definitely well i guess he's kind of striding and this guy's kind of squatting so i guess that's a fair representation he should be probably a little smaller but that marine probably standing up is a good you know this actually this big right here so just to give you an idea of that and then we've got the weapon uh itself the imploder went together it's just a left and right half right there you use some uh, thin plastic glue to glue that together now if you've got uh your knight magnetized here uh, a great way to do it you can see I, we've actually got two night magnetization videos sometimes i say hey put a little sprue down in there and then you can lock your magnet in but sometimes just a piece of plastic card will do you well these are three eighths inch three eighths inch by one sixteenth inch magnets right here and they work pretty well they lock together um this actually switches out with the battle cannon right here and we use these for a lot of the arm joints once we, there it is, locks that in right there. Now, I just chose to use the multi multi ones over here just because it was a lot easier and you don't have to switch between ammo feeds because there's actually the ammo feed here uh, for the imploder as well, but we're not gonna worry about that or the multi-laser or anything or the little uh, knee greave or the heraldry pad. While they all look great, there's no need to really put that onto here unless we're sure that's the way we're gonna build it. And I really like these little 
uh, leering space wolf gargoyles as well, little Canis Rex oils, we'll say. So lock this in, boom, and then your tolerances are actually pretty good. Uh, this multi malta, when you don't bump it into anything, actually sockets right in. Fortunately, I kind of left it open because I wasn't sure how this would interface, and it looks like it interfaces um, pretty well. Sockets right in. Tolerances are good. And now we can attach this to our knight and put the cockpit in there as well and see how it looks. Okay, so we're going to grab our knight, which we've already magnetized here at the joints using uh, a little slightly smaller magnets. I don't remember what exact size those were. I want to say they're Definitely want to say those are quarter inch. So a quarter inch by 1 16th is what it looks like to my eyeballs. But check out our magnetization tutorial uh, specifically on how to build all the versions of the night to be 100% sure right there. So we're going to lock this one in. Boom, there we go. And we've got a really cool kind of staggered look. We magnetize this at the, at the joint too. So it uh, can rotate pretty freely and get like some really cool hero poses going right there. Now... We need to lock this guy into here. So it's really cool. It's got uh, just these little notches right here. And I just used a little put, little bit of poster tack to, let's see, let's line this up correctly, to be able to remove it too. So there it is. Check that out. It's a little hard to get the light in there, but you get the idea. You can definitely see all of that right there. And I kind of made a guess. So there's these little side notches where the support struts go and i kind of made an educated guess here that the portico the, the window right there these two halves form a, the little window that it would match up with the window on the front so i kind of try to line it up with a little bit of uh, poster tack right there and now we're going to see if we can just carefully slide this in oh look at that talk about almost 100 percent lucky that was a really good guess right there <laughs> so it definitely locks in it looks good let me get the knight here all ready to receive this carapace and slot this over the top boom get our magnetized top weapon right there and we've got all the makings of a hero right here the preceptor class with pilot right there of course i didn't glue it all down because i wanted to be able to still you know um, paint it up and such and i'm not sure exactly uh what paint scheme and such i want to go with but definitely and this is all poster tacked on so you've got the knee greave that goes right here the heraldry banner that will go between here if you want it to be canis rex and the other heraldry uh, panel for the ion shield this is actually the ion shield projector believe it or not according to the lower and then you've got the oversight over here they can switch out between the reaper chain sword of course this isn't for the preceptor at this point but they all definitely work right there now we can talk about points real quick the knight perceptor with just the star or the, the the base multi-laser actually i didn't point it for the multi-laser um i guess it comes with the multi-laser so it's three so it's going to be a 429 because uh, the Laz Imploder is 100 points right there. And let's take a closer look at its rules because it's got the Mentor ability, which is pretty cool. And Canis Rex has uh, a couple other rules too. We'll just break them down real quick. So it turns out I did point it up right because the Perceptor comes with the Stubber. So it's uh, 429 points for this bad boy. It has the two different modes of fire with the Laz and Pulsar, which is very similar to uh, the Rapid Fire Battle Cannon over on the Paladin here. It's just a little bit shorter range but about the same stat-wise, just a little bit lower on the strength here. So a little bit shorter and a little bit less on the strength. And then of course you can turn it up to 11 and get that heavy D6 at strength 12 neg four, which is no joke right here. A hitting on threes both right there, but we all know there's ways uh, to do things with the Knights. There's different abilities that may or may not allow you uh, to reroll hits. And speaking of reroll hits, the mentor ability here is going to allow you to get your little baby armagers getting those rerolls of one for armager unit armager class within six now it also it says reroll hits 
And this isn't specifically in shooting, so this could work during combat as well. So keep that in mind. So the choppy choppy ones are uh, still pretty good as well. Got the ion shield, the super heavy walker, all the normal rules right there. So he's a little bit more 385 instead of 285 base for the perceptor. So he's pretty good in a lot of different ways and it has two modes of fire, which are pretty good. The Canis Rex is a flat uh, 450 right off the bat. He's gonna come with the multi-laser, the Freedom Hand, the Laz Imploder, Sir Hector, uh, which you, or, you know you can set him up and have his little Archaeotech pistol. It's not too bad, Nick 2 AP hitting on, uh, hitting on Ballistic Seal uh, 3 right there. Pretty cool, he's got the Chain Breaker rule. Um, so things won't be fleeing as much. And he is, fortunately or unfortunately, smitten by these uh, free blade qualities and burdens right here. He has the obsessed with vengeance burden, and that's if he fails his leadership check. So, you know, 50-50 if he, if he fails that. He has a pretty high leadership of 9. So uh, roll 2d6, you want a 9 or below or else you're affected by this obsessed with uh, vengeance, only target the nearest enemy in the shooting phase and can only declare a charge against his nearest enemy in a charge phase. And he has um, legendary hero and last of the line qualities. Reroll hits a one for free blades attack against units containing 10 or more models. So there's your rerolls of one, but that's just for Canis Rex. And legendary hero, he can reroll a single hit wound or wound damage roll, charge roll or saving throw for this free blade. So not too shabby right there. That's the number six right down here. I didn't realize it wasn't on the screen. So lots of cool things, cool rules. It's nice to have uh, your very own free blade model that you can customize here and with all sorts of cool heraldry. And of course, a little duder in the cockpit right there. Uh, it's just really neat to see and obviously good value right off the bat for $157 comes with the additional sprue and all the other sprues to make all what is it seven versions of the current seven current versions of the plastic imperial knight available uh to you in one kit which i think is a really good value from games workshop so get your knight on this weekend and strike that hero pose as you stride into war against the enemies of the imperium with canis rex and sir hector the new preceptor class for the imperial knights Spiking bits